All right, guys, we are back with some highlights against Dynamo Kiev, a home match for us. Kiev plays the ball out. It goes to Febasiv at the midfield line, played through for Basile, and he slots it home. So 15 minutes in, and we find ourselves in a 1-0 hole. His 50th goal for Kiev. Kamziak goes near post, Radionov with the header, and it goes in for the equalizer in the 22nd minute. We spend the next 50 minutes even before a missed header by Ruta Schickel goes to Vera, who puts it in at the near post, caught the keeper flat-footed, and we took a 2-1 lead. Tarashenko up to Simic, who was off the bench, and he goes back post, beating the keeper there to make it 3-1, and that was a stellar win for us. 14 shots, 7 on target, 54% of the possession. So that is really good. And as you can see, the run continues. So let's see, last episode we played Sheriff. So we uh, had a 2 nothing win over uh, Karan Marais at 2-0. Lyuka gets on the score sheet. Kolchinsky with a goal as well. Lviv in the Ukrainian Cup second round, a 2-0 win there. Michael Robinson and Carabella with the goals for our side. 3-1 in the replay. We did play our slightly rotated squad. Uh, Kuczynski with a brace, including a first-minute goal. Carlos Vera, a fifth-minute goal for the deciding factors there. Against uh, Rook Lviv, 3-1 win. Philip Camps with a brace. Carlos Vera with a goal as well. And then, of course, the... 3-1 win over Dynamo Kiev, highlighted by Carlos Vera's goal there as well. Speaking of Vera, take a look at our goal leaders, and he now has 15 in 22 starts. Pavlenko has 14, 10 in 14, but he is not playing for the for us. He's playing for the second second division club. These second clubs, I'm not really sure how they work. Are they just like a U23? He's actually pretty good. He's only 20 years old. He's going to be coming maybe into... And that's something else, too. I can't click on my scout summary. It's like he's not on my club. Or I can click on this for other guys that I'm scouting, but I can't see my own players. I don't know. So I go here. Um has to work on improving his crosses, currently operating at a first league level, which is uh, well below us. Yes, we're premier. First league's only one level down. So where are we? Yeah, they don't have, they don't have anything there. Oh, well. All right, well, that's the, uh, the schedule with uh, the run. We're still in good form. We continue to be at or near the top of the table on points and goal differential. Shakhtar uh, had a couple of draws, which offset our one loss to Obalon. They're on a, like a 25 match unbeaten run dating back to last season. So that's pretty crazy. Uh, and as you can see, we're top of the groups, group table in the Euro Cup 2, two points above FC 20. And if we pull one point today, we secure promotion to the knockouts, and we have reached the quarterfinal in the Ukrainian Cup with the win over Lusk uh, last that we showed just a second ago, or I showed you guys the scoreline. So let's get back for FC20. So as we can see, qualification is on the line. We just need a point to qualify for the first knockout round. I don't think FC20 has anything to worry about. I don't need those on right now. You guys have probably heard me say when I'm playing my other games, I usually listen to other YouTubers. Let's see, he is under contract for a year and a half. And I think that would probably be beneficial offer him 
if I can get away without that, I would like. And I don't mind the raise to thirty-three thousand. Well, we'll see what he says. Maybe he won't. Maybe he won't demand that. He took it. Sweet. I mean, you know, if he didn't want half of what he told me he was going to want, he didn't have to take it, right? I think somebody's in the kitchen grinding coffee beans. All right, so Vera Robinson up top, Camps, Kuchinsky, Komzik, Lyulka, Stoika, Radinov, Bidney, Yarmolenko, and Heidenreich are normal go-to. I would like to... See, he's more of a number 10 than a striker. Simic. Simic's just been in a good run of form. But Meyer's the one I really want to get in if I can. He just hasn't played a lot, but he scores when he's in. I don't think these are against our league, though. This is against uh, second division. Yep, yeah, let's put him on. Maybe we'll get him off the bench today. And we are underway, FC 20. And it turned into, my pointer turned into a soccer ball. Crazy. <laughs> it's right there. Oh, there's a good run by Kuchinski. Squared in, turned away. Comes, it comes back to it. Oh, a little back heel kick. Nice. He was looking to get the ball through. And there's a nice through ball. Lehmans is on to it. He tried to dink Heidenreich, but Heidenreich stayed big and made the save. That was nice. All right, we need to uh, encourage the team. And that just comes into Lehman's at the near post. Ah, they might be calling an offsides. Looks like we're appealing. The linesman has not moved. So I think they're going to disallow that, and they do. Yeah, it wasn't coffee beans my granddaughter's playing with something. Boy, he was just a hair. That's one of those calls when it's in your favor. You're really happy. When it's against you, you're like, what? <laughs> Lyoka, oh boy. I don't particularly have anybody else that can play over there. So I'm going to have to slide Camps back. McCaleb to come on. That is not good. He's been very injury prone. I'm I'm starting to become... A little concerned about that. Yarmolenko switches fields. Puts it in. And there's a... Oh, there was a run. All right, little triangle action there. I thought I think he thought Camps was going to make a run, and Camps may have been like, "I'm playing right mid now. I can't make a run." <laughs> oh, Lehman's beat Stoika. Good save by Heidenreich. He's done a lot to keep us in this game. Lehman's has looked dangerous. That was a nice punch out. And another big save by Heidenreich. Woof. He is single-handedly keeping us in this match. Come on, boys. Nice little flick on header. Uh, I'm going to turn these notifications off on my text because my wife leaves the house and she just can't quit gabbing with me. 
Oh, there's a nice ball in. Oh, Vera couldn't get a shot at the angle. Ah, that was unlucky. Unlucky. Oh, he's got tons of space out there. DeRutter. Another header cleared. It's coming right back on us, though. A lot of little heel kicks going on. <laughs> Some stylish play. Lots of flair. Oh, good, say, good stop there defensively by Radanov. Lehman's making a run again. Stoika. I'm going to drop you to fullback defend. Camps. What? What's all the racket? <laughs> Jeez. I think that's going to be the only move. All right. That went right into the keeper. Good job. Just want to see if Stoika staying back defensively now may help with some of that. Oh, there's a ball in. Camps to Robinson. Ninth goal of the season. And those two do a brilliant job hooking up. Very, very nice. Liking that. That was a great move. Camps. Nice, nice one-two pass there. Got to like that, and we will change after that. All right, let's encourage the team again. It's a header by Vera, and it goes off the keeper's hands, and he flubs it into the goal. That's 16 on the season for Vera, and now we're up 2-0, and it looks like we are doing our best to secure that move into the knockout rounds. I think the keeper just came out too strong on that one and put him in a bad position to really have any force on that save. But we know this is a good side, but we also know we've played with them before. You know, we played them to a 1-1 draw in that last outing. Was there an offsides there? Yes, it was an offsides. Whew. Off the woodwork. Dangerous ball. And let's just get it out of there if we don't mind. They're putting the press on us. That's uh, a little dangerous. Oh, he lumps it. Vera's on to it. And loses it. Coming right back, though. Our midfield does a good job to control the ball. Oh, there's a nice ball in. And he made the keeper lay out for it. That was not a bad job by the new number 10. He's the one we brought in to replace Camps. Team is playing well. They are putting pressure on us, but oh, that was not a good ball. Probably should have played that out to Yarmachenko. And that shot goes wide. And of course, we're playing in the Netherlands at FC20 Stadium. Masudi, he is the one that got the equalizer in the first leg. All right, there's Camps. And he's taken down by De Rutter. Going to bring up a set piece, if nothing else. A lot of highlights here in the first half, isn't there? Uh, let's praise the team here in the early, uh, right before the half. Oh, that's good block on the defense there. Oof, that was a dangerous ball. Masudi again. Good block. Camps is on it. I'd like him to play the ball up right there, but down to the touch line. Looking for the cross in. 
gets cleared out. And the keeper makes a big save there on the little floater. And Masudi, he's in clean. Oh, and Heidenreich had no shot at that one. Oh, he would, they, we were just carved open on that back line. His touch there was just something to behold, I suppose. We have a 0.69 XG, but we've scored two goals. All right, let's get to the dressing room. Played well, but there's still room for improvement. That would be a true statement. Play it all the way back to the keeper, and then nothing happens. Kuczynski camps out in space. There's a clean entrance pass, and Michael Robinson has his second of the game. Second assist from camps since moving out to that wing spot. Number 10 for Robinson, and that should... Should seal points for us. I'm not going to say the three points. Just points. But that was a nice ball to lay it back to Robinson for camps. Very good job. Now here's a dilemma. And I know you guys have liked to raise concerns. So Robinson's sitting on a hat trick, right? He's on two goals, but he's also on a yellow card. This is where I would normally take him off, right? And hopefully save him for another day. Oh, and he was looking for that hat trick right there. That, and if he got it, I would he would have been coming off uh, in that first sub. Kaczynski off sides. I don't, nobody's complacent. We get a header out. What is his name? Help. Okay. I, I don't even want to try that one because I'll probably get demonetized. Come on, guys. I'm on vacation. Quit sending me emails. <laughs> Heidenreich makes the save there. I've got to remember, we've already made... Oh, there's a brilliant flick on header. Vera runs it down, and he slots it in. That is stellar. His second of the game. Wow, okay. Two goals apiece. You guys aren't going to want me to take off either one. Everybody's playing well. Only three subs in this one because it's a cup match. But I think at 4-1, we should have secured points. That was a good flick-on header, and Vera made it count. And Stoika comes off. Makarenko comes on. Not really a defensive move per se, just, you know, fresh legs. That's all we're looking for. Some of those are crap passes, though. <laughs> Just utter crap. Oh, my goodness. Masaudi, 12th goal of the season, and that was a laser. Oh, my God. Laser. <laughs> Man, we're sitting on dead even XGs. Basically, good save by Heidenreich there. The Saudi starting to press. Uh, the flick on header just misses. Michaela brings it all the way across to the right flank. And Robinson could have had the hat trick there. Let's uh, let's 
ask him to focus. Nobody charges back for the ball, and they've got people banging forward, three people charging up into channels, and that was probably a good clearance by uh, Bidney. We have got some issues on the pitch here. Kuchinski is really tired, but I'm about 10 minutes earlier than I would normally make a sub, so he's going to have to go a little longer. All right, there's a good stopping point. All right, so Mazarenko, yeah, I think that's that's still what we want to do. Oh, I know what I do want to do. Slow the pace down. Yep, and now we can play for set pieces because that will draw the clock out a little bit. I usually do that at about the 70 minute mark if I'm holding or nursing a lead. That one's off the mark by Masaudi. Yarmolenko is dead tired. Komzik would like to come off. But there are no more subs to be made. Oh, Yarmolenko gets toasted. He is just a step slower. Oh, uh, some good defense there. That's one of those, you saw he did the slide tackle. The ball went right out in front of the man making a run. Those usually go right into the net. Hmm. Now, I am noticing they're playing with three up top. So this is a situation where maybe I want to go five at the back, but we're not, we're not handling it poorly. Good ball to break the press. There's through Vera. He dinks the keeper for his hat trick. That's number 18 on the season. And Robinson, oh, Robinson does not go to congratulate him because he doesn't get the hat trick. Oh, oh, a little piss attitude there, huh? But still, Robinson with the assist, but he did not go to celebrate the goal. Doesn't even raise his hands or anything. Wow. That's interesting. Do we have a do we have a a bitter rivalry starting to develop? Camps fought through that tackle and got the shot on goal. This is a big win. This is a big win for the club. Oh, oh Robinson! He slots it home for his hat trick. 11th of the season, and I believe that is my first match ever with twin hat tricks. Pretty sure. Pretty sure. In the 95th minute, Robinson gets his third of the match. Are we going to get another one? Nope, the keeper made the play on that one. And there's the final whistle, six to two, two hat tricks, one by each striker, Vera and Robinson. Player of the game, Michael Robinson. Boy, the XGs were right there. They actually had a higher XG until that final goal than we did. That's insane. They did have one disallowed. Ayuka, I hope he's not hurt too bad. I may have to sit him down for a while, though, because he's been injury prone. Where is his medical report? Just this year, since coming on board, a gashed lower leg, 10 days, pulled groin, tight thigh, bruised knee. That was just, So he's just coming back from that. And now he's hurt in today's match. I don't know. That was a hell of a game, though. And I am fully outstretching arms. 
qualification in the bag. That is huge. So first place finish in group stage. Now, does that give us the second knockout round? Another 223,000, three to four weeks for Lyoka. That's, mm, that's not good. Robinson, you were superb. Can't complain about a whole lot of anything right there. All right. Um, so let's see. Euro Cup stages. All right. Qualifying rounds. Okay. So the second qualifying round is actually the first round. When do we draw that? I have no idea. If I was on the right day, that might help. Right here. First knockout round. So we get a buy from that maybe? All right. So we're not going to look at any draws today then. So we are in, so reach group stage, we've done that. So now we're up to 65%. Won the group stage. We're at 55% for the reaching the quarterfinals. That'll be coming up. We're at 92% for our run to finish in the top half, which we are. And I don't believe, yep, there's nothing above this. So, you know, this is for silverware. So, I don't, you know, I still think it's a long shot for silverware, but, oh, we did make some transfer news. I have signed two players. Um, tell you what, let's go ahead and look at all of them because two of these guys I think are pretty good and we didn't spend much money on. So Simon Lucas is a 20-year-old attacker. He can play any of the two wing positions and up top. Only 20 years old. He's going to be coming in next month in January. He's a Czechoslovakian. He's capped at U20 for his country. Very good finishing pace. I think bringing him on board is going to make for sure. See, he's, he's third in line at right. He's fifth in line at left. And he, you know... I'm thinking, but he has a lot of upside. But I think I think I'm going to try to move Simic on. I really like Camps. Plus, he plays that number ten. Simic does not do that. He could maybe, but I think that makes him expendable. Then we brought in uh, Taylor Furlong. Now he's a little expensive on his contract. He's going to be one of the four or five. Highest paid players at the club, and I think you get that when you sign English English players. But he's 22 years old from Man United. We didn't pay a lot for him. Uh, he is 6'2". Uh, if he can get his heading up a little bit, he's got great jumping reach. But maybe we can train heading. He could be a center back for us. But I like him as an attacking wing back. Uh, he's got 13 crossing and gets forward whenever possible. So I think he fits that mold. So I'm big happy on that signing. And then this kid came up. And remember, my scouts are the ones that find all my players. Bruno is a 17-year-old Brazilian. Not a wonder kid. But he looks pretty wonderful to me. Uh, physicals are there. Stamina. And again, because this is a Bielsa-style journeyman, I'm looking for the things that I think Bielsa looks for. Pace, stamina, work rate, you know, all of those things. Decision-making, composure is really good. First touch. He can even finish, so he can move up into that number 10 role and, you know, do the job. He's a decent enough passer, but even from one of those central mids, he could play defensive. He can pass good enough. He could be a playmaker. Uh, this I like this kid, man. I, I think he's going to be really good for us at some point. Not sure. Not sure. And as you can see, we you know with the signings, we've spent another 1.8 as our money is bleeding away. But that's you know that's due to spending money to bring players in. All in all, we're doing good. They're still scouting away really hard. I think we're done. We've qualified. 
So we will come back sometime in March. Might even be might even be the first match. Maybe I come back with a pair of highlights and Abalon, our lone loss on the season. We've got the Ukrainian Cup quarterfinals are there. Kind of feel obligated to show that if we could try to win silverware. I don't know. I've got to think about it, but uh, we've got a lot going on, a lot coming up, and uh, rapidly running out of season, so that's a good thing because we are playing lights out this year. What a great season for the club. Oh, in a truly Bielsa move, the club offered me to, I uh, wanted to sit down for a contract extension, and I told him no. So I've never done that. I'm not sure what that's going to entail, if they're going to look to replace me or let me go. But um, assuming we do very well, remember this is a top half finish for this year, right? And then last season, I believe the goal was mid-table, and we finished third. So third, Euro qualifying. If we can get into Champions League, I might want to stay for that, but that might be the spot to bounce. Just something to think about. And don't forget, I did mention, I did turn all those other leagues, England, Spain, France, all those leagues are now playable. So they actually have some other clubs that we could look at. And if we look at club rating... So, you know, we do have nothing that's really a jump for us. But remember, in this journeyman, if you're not sure of what we're trying to do, go back and look at the intro video, but go back and look at last episode because we talked a lot about the philosophy. It doesn't have to be an upward move. It doesn't have to be for more money. And that's typically how most of the YouTubers, including myself, style their journeymans. This is looking for challenges that get your attention and are appealing. Doesn't always mean managing at the highest levels. So got to get out of that mindset. I need to get out of that mindset. But you notice none of the other, none of the new clubs are in here because they don't activate until June. So it will be the end of this season and I'll have to consider walking away and being unemployed to see if something comes up. And that would be a Bielsa thing to do, right? That would be a Bielsa thing to do. So anyway, just some things that may be developing down the road. Uh, so hang in there. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. Uh, let me know what you think about the philosophies. And as I said on my Twitter feed, uh, I am going to rely on you guys that watch the series Keep me in line and make sure that we're going in the right direction, but I want to make sure we're on the same page. So if I harp on that, it's just because I want to make sure there are some differences that are completely against what typical journeymans usually are. So anyway, big summer coming up, I think. We'll see. Have a good one, guys. Bye.